Welcome to episode 19 of the tutorial series LiveWire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we will learn about events in LiveWire 3. Events are very helpful when developing applications. In LiveWire 3, we can send events to all components and perform an action when we listen to a triggered event. To trigger an event, we use dispatch method with the name of the event and we can also be able to pass additional data to the dispatch method. In our previous tutorial, the tutorial number 14 and 15 in this series, we created a model. And in this model, when we create a product here, I would like to just type in product 6 and then some uh, some description like that and then some price there and then save changes once we save as you can see it says product created but when we look here we do not have um, the sixth uh, value in this case because we are numbering from one up until five so we do not have a new product added to this all products list and the reason is this is a different component and this is also another different component. I would also want to check the edit method. And when you look at the edit method, if we edit, we change product one to product 99, something of that sort and update. Again, you can see post updated successfully, but when we look at product one, the name has not changed. All these changes are persisted when we refresh our page. Now you can see product 99 and then product 6. The reason why this is the case is because there is no communication between these two components in that when we do an update, then uh, this other component is refreshed to give us the list of whatever it is that we have updated. To do that, we can be able to use events. But before we work on that, we also did something about events when we were working with these two forms. Because as you can see, we're having this as edit product. When I close it, when we click on create, we're having it as create product. Yet this is the same model. So we are using the same model, only that we are changing values. So let me skip into the code. And inside here, inside our create product method, we have edit form. So if edit form is set to true, then it means we are editing. Then the edit, our, our component, our model will be changed to be, to have the data for editing the form. If it is set to false, then it means we are creating a new form. So let us go ahead and see how we dispatch an event that uh, is able to be listened to. And when we, we are listening to an event, we have, we include live wire attributes on. And then after that, we attach it to the method that we want to listen or execute once that event is triggered. So in this case, you can see edit mode, and then we are performing editing. So in this case, you can see we are setting edit form to true. And then now once this is triggered, this will be set to true and then our form will change to edit. Let us go to the view and see how we were able to dispatch this event. So I will open create product.blad. And um, when we scroll downwards here, there is a place where we have where we are where we are changing the form i think it is in all products it is in all products because this is create product and it's the one that we are manipulating but when we go to all products let me just open it we have this this button that we are calling edit it is the one that we are using events to trigger uh, that uh, function so in this case let me open all products and once we open this one you can see we are having a button here that we are calling edit this button that uh, we have in our form it's the edit button 
one of the things that we are doing, of course, we have some uh, class that will be able to trigger our model, and that is okay. We covered it. But here we are having dispatch at click dispatch edit mode. And so this is how you can be able to dispatch events inside um, the blade component. So you can say at click, then dollar sign dispatch, and then the name of the event. In this case, this one is called edit mode. And then you can be able to pass parameters inside here. So as you can see, what we are passing here is ID. So then this event is when it's triggered, it uh, is listened to by all components. And you can see the component that we are working with is all product. So this event can actually be listened to in um, create product component. And I, I mean create product uh, live wire class. And actually that is what we are able to leverage on here. So we are listening on it on this edit function. So we just add on edit mode. So the live wire attributes. And then now we set edit form to true. And of course, because we are passing the ID, we can be able to manipulate uh, that data. So basically, that is that. I would like us also to be able to cure the problem that we had here, where if we create a product, we must refresh. And also, if we edit a product, we must refresh for it to be able to be displayed. So let us go ahead and create an event that you handle that. And clearly, when you look at it, I, I believe that we can only target the places where we are create, where we are updating and where we are saving this data. So inside our create, create product method, we have the save function. And we also have the update function. So this is the place where we are going to trigger our event that will do what? That will refresh the items in, uh, that, that are being set in the mount method for the products. So that's what we are going to do. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to dispatch an event. So probably before we, after we, immediately after we update, I want to dispatch an event. And if we want to dispatch an event inside our um, live wire class, we can just say this and then an arrow and then dispatch like that. So this dispatch. And then inside here, we are going to pass in the name of our event. So here I'm going to just say refresh, refresh hyphen products. It is possible also to trigger an event to a specific component. So in this case, you can say to, and then you can give the class. So for example, all products class like that and that you'll be able to dispatch this event to that specific class but sometimes you might find that you just want to dispatch an event that you want to be listened to by any other component when we set it like this this event can be listened to by any component that we have within our application. It is still possible also to pass in other parameters. So for example, if we want to pass the product title, we can be able to just say title like that. And then we can say product uh, or maybe this product title or something of that sort, this uh, product title like that and it you also pass the title along with the data that we are passing so in this case that is not what i want to do i just want to just pass as long as we have this method hit i want us to dispatch an event and then this event we want it to be listened to 
on uh, the other method that we have i hope i have typed in this one correctly and now i would like also to have the same so whether we are updating or whether we are saving a new record so for both of them we would require a refresh on our on our table so basically we can have it like that so if we are dispatching i want us to refresh products if we are not i also want us to refresh products i want us to go to our um, the all products component and inside here i want us to create another method of course you can see we are loading the products through the mount method and then we are displaying them we are setting them in, inside this uh, property that we have here. So I would like to have another method here. We can have public function. And I want to have a method called refresh uh, products like that. And then now what I want us to do, I want us to listen to our event. So let me include the attribute. So use live wire attributes and then on because that is what I want us to use the on attribute. And above this method, immediately above it, we can be able to have our listener so in the, in this case we can say on and then inside here we can pass the name of our um, of our event what have i called it i have called it refresh products so let me just copy it like that and then paste it here that way so basically inside here now i want us to just refresh the products and what I would like to do, I just want to call a method that is similar to what we are having in the mount method to just repopulate the products on our product property. And then I will save it. I want to attempt and see if our, our event is working. So I want to save a new uh, product. I'm going to call it product 7. And then some description and then a price save changes now you can see product 7 is uh, displayed I also want to test that it is also working on edit so I will still edit this first one so I'm going to edit this and instead of product 99 I'm going to call it product 999 and the description I will delete my awesome description I just leave my awesome and the price I'm going to change to nine and then click update and when we do that as you can see that product has been updated exactly the same way we have intended it to be this is uh, the end of this tutorial episode Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. By doing so, you will be notified when I upload another awesome video. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also share it. You are welcome also to engage in the comment section. Thank you very much.